Hi guys, it's Sylvie. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, it's a beautiful day out here. <laughs> My camera's on a bucket. So as you guys can see, it's a beautiful day out here. I wanted to create something my kids could play with that would encourage education continuing outside instead of indoors. So I made them all homemade sensory bins from whatever products I had in the basement. I didn't spend a single dime on them whatsoever. So hopefully you guys see the process. My camera did die in making the first box. So I filmed whatever I could on my phone. Anyways, guys, enjoy the video. I can't wait to surprise the kids. I'll take you through each single box right now. My oldest daughter is five years old. Her name is Naya and she is just obsessed with Frozen. I don't know what is up with all the little girls absolutely falling in love with Elsa and loving Elsa so much. If any of you guys have a theory on that, please comment below because as far as Naya goes, I just have this feeling that she loves Elsa so much because Elsa looks like her. But I'm still figuring that out. Anyways, back to the boxes. At first, I was just going to put it in this cardboard box that I had in the basement from when I shipped off clothing for selling on Poshmark. But I decided, ooh, let's be all cool and do a good job and wrap it up like a present. So I put this leftover Christmas wrapping paper on the exterior of the box. At first, I just like cut it exactly to size and I could have taped it on there just like that. But for some reason, I decided I had to make the trees line up straight so it looked like they were in the forest. So it took a lot longer, took a lot of tucking and cutting and... Anyways, it looked better, I guess. More educational trees upright, how they're supposed to be. Then I also took the tin foil and I put it on top and inside of the box so it looked like a present opening up and all shiny like ice and ice skating in winter and sparkles and diamonds and princesses. Like I said in the intro, I really wanted to make these boxes so that the kids could have something educational to play with and keep learning as they're playing outside. So I decided to, because we're pretty much broke or trying to save money, I don't know which it is, use whatever things I had at home. So I did not buy anything for these boxes. So basically I went down to my basement where a bunch of junk is collecting dust and I grabbed whatever I could that matched the frozen theme. So I had pieces from old games. First off, I dyed the rice. So I dyed the rice, I used vinegar and food coloring for the rice so there's no chemicals. This was super fun and easy actually to shake the rice up, see it change. It did not take that much of the product to actually see some nice color to the rice. And the kid really did love the texture of this one. Um, I also threw in some stuff that I got from the dollar store back when it was Naya's Harry Potter birthday and just little knickknacks and toys from around the floor just like stuff that was laying around. I grabbed her frozen Legos and I put a couple things in there. She had Olaf, Elsa, Anna, the sleigh that she built and then I was pretty happy with how this one turned out. Then moving on to Callie. Callie is my three-year-old daughter and she likes all things little and cute and diamonds and sparkles and princesses and fairies and anything that's bright and colorful and full of imagination she basically likes. So I made this like fairy, uh, fairy textured material with TP and soap and lots and lots and water and sparkles and so many sparkles. 
Okay, seriously, my basement was a wreck after I did dumped all these sparkles in like my workout mat, which is where I set up my station. I am still picking sparkles out of my workout pants and off my clothes and washing them down the drain every time I shower. That's how extreme we went with sparkles. And it's kind of hard to do sparkle crafts because they just, they're so little, it's hard to clean them up properly. But anyways, the texture of this was really interesting. I actually was sneezing quite a bit doing this one because I'm allergic to soap or the sprinkles got up my nose because I was getting sneezy and itchy. And then for Callie, I used this container, this garden container that I had. At first, I was like, I don't want to put this in a cardboard box because it was a bit wet texture and I knew it would go like bleed right through the box. But I wanted to use my big, big Tupperware bin for doing Lucian's project. So I found this planter, which was pretty good because it had holes in the bottom, so it like aerated the whole thing. And then I just dotted the top of it with every little pink, bright colored, yellow, springtimey fun thing I could find. More pieces from games, more little dolls, more toys. I took stuff out of a Play-Doh box to top it all off. I added an old candle whose stem was broken off and I couldn't light it just to make it look all springy. And then I put on her Polly Pocket stuff, her little cute dolls. Now for Lucian, actually, I d guess I did purchase the, the main event for this a while ago. Last time I went thrifting, I went and got the kids a spring thrifted wardrobe. Uh, I think you'll see this in the next video if you stick around. I'm going to do like a spring reset, but it's going to be cooler than that. It's going to be really dope. It's going to have a double meaning. I got some a pack of dinosaurs for like two bucks and Lucian has been really obsessed with dinosaurs and I was like I need to make that boy something that he can play with and you know he's a little boy so he loves water, he loves banging toys, he likes cars, he likes stuff that he can smash and break. And... Were you guys, were you watching through the window? Yeah. Really? Monday. Are you sure? No. <laughs> I opened my okay. eyes. Hey, this is a fairy princess one for you, and Naya, this is a frozen box for you. You may only play in your boxes. You may only play in your boxes, and the toys have to stay in those boxes. You understand? I'm calling you Just to hear your voice on the phone. Naya, your toys stay in yours. Yours stay in yours, Callie. Callie, look at those little dolls. You can now leave that box, okay? Can we play in there? I don't know, what is that? That's a little dog. It's my birthday. Mm -hmm. Whoa, it's a way. <laughs> 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 Sunday morning snooze with breakfast in bed and I listen to the song in my head it sings to you and the things that you do cause you're everything
Yeah, this is her castle. There's her castle in there. And they got a hike to all the sky. Everything is right. And they build a building. Sweetest birthday cake. I can't just stay this way. Like you wanted to, like you wanted to, like 24, 24, 7, like 24, 24, 7. Oh, like you wanted to, like you wanted to, like 24, 24, 7, like 24, 24, 7. Oh, nothing but blue sky. Totally oh, nice. <laughs> Make sure to it you get her at the no. first time. Whatever you want. It could be the It could be the best of times. No. Do we need the troubles? Why? Hey. Do we need the troubles? Why? <laughs> What's your favorite part of the race? Yeah, yeah. There's stuff like of a delicate thing that I'm Yeah, we are so many down there. Yeah, I love a bad thing. Wish there was a scene in my head to get it. But then I get hot. <laughs> so this is like walk, walk, walk. Callie's is like a garden, so it's in a garden container. And yours is like a present, it's like frozen in winter. His was seriously the easiest and simplest, and honestly, quite honestly, I think the kids had most fun with it. I literally, you'll see in the playtime section, I literally had to keep the girls behind the gate. <laughs> So Lucian could be introduced to his toy alone and see how it worked. But that didn't last for long. In a couple seconds, they all ran out and played together. And it was amazing. Honestly, these things kept them entertained for hours. So for Lucy, I just had the toys, some rocks, a bin, and some water. And that was brilliant. I added a couple of sparkles because, well, water is blue and shiny in the sun. and. I just had leftover sparkles, so I decided to dump them in there. Why not? Anyways, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me and watching this video. I know that carnivore videos are taking off on my channel, but I just wanted to my identity to not be all wrapped up in one type of videos. And I also wanted to show what other creative things I have for spring because spring is a really fun time for me it's really educational and there's some really cool creative things we can do if we just apply ourselves so i hope you enjoyed the video give me a like thumbs up share with some friends if you think they would get anything out of this i'm really trying to do some creative things without spending money this year so i think it'd be great for other stay-at-home moms you know trying to do fun stuff for their kids this was super simple super easy like I said it didn't cost me anything I used supplies that I had and it was a good time so, is he climbing a mountain see you next week guys